you already have big butt. You have big butt, but but hard, but but very firm. So it's not going to be huge. That's what he told me. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Kennedy, and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I've been able to make a video. Um, I moved into my first apartment, which I'm really excited about. Deaths in the family, sadly. So a lot has been going on. Same with working and things like that. So, you know, your girl has a life, all right? I, I have a life. And um, it's been hard for me to kind of keep up with dropping these videos, but I have made a commitment where I'm gonna start dropping a video every Monday. So yeah, go ahead and turn on your notifications and hit that subscribe button. Today's video is going to be all about my experience getting a Lipo 360 and a BBL. Um, I went to Gold's Plastic Surgery, so this is a review on that facility. And I'm just gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Uh, Gold's Plastic Surgery has us sign like a document saying that we're not gonna bash them on social media. So I'm not bashing them, but I am gonna tell you my experience and I am going to be, I'm, I'm gonna be 100% honest and real. I've also put the timestamps below. So if you don't wanna look at the whole video in case it gets too lengthy, you can jump right into what you care about and what you wanna see. So keep watching. Okay, so. First things first, I want to start off by saying that if you're not in agreement with plastic surgery, just go ahead and hop on off. I don't care about your comments regardless, but just go ahead and just save yourself the trouble and the stress and just go ahead and just exit out of this, all right? Um, I have always wanted plastic surgery since like high school. Um, I remember watching Flavor of Love and different like reality TV shows with women who had crazy curves, big booties, and I had some women in my family who also have like big butts, specifically on my dad's side of the family, like my aunties, they got nice booties. I've always been top heavy, I've got big boobs, and I had very like narrow hips, like I had no hips really, just straight, and um, I just didn't like it. So I knew that once I graduated from college, I was going to get plastic surgery. I graduated in 2018. So I started looking at facilities on Instagram. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot of searches on Google. I looked on Instagram and I came across Goals Plastic Surgery by looking up the hashtag like plastic surgery, honestly. And I saw that they were in New York. I didn't wanna go out of the country because I just am very skeptical about what can happen if something goes wrong in another country. So I always wanted to stay within the United States. They followed back, they were very, very open. It seemed like they were just very like honest and transparent about the whole experience. Um, they also had announced that they were coming to Atlanta, which is where I'm located. And I felt like, man, this must be a sign. Like if they're coming to Atlanta out of all the places in the fucking United States, I had to calm down. I went ahead and I called them. I started setting up like um, an e-consultation. It's just pretty much a consultation through a camera or you sending pictures. And they said that I qualified to get lipo and a BBL. Originally, I thought that I was going to get my body done from Dr. Voskin. He's the surgeon who does the brand ambassadors, um, the influencers, the celebrities. Like at first he was doing regular degulas, but now he's just simply doing those people or you gotta pay an extra fee to get him to do your surgery. Anyways, after I put down my deposit and things like that, that was in 2019, they said that they were going to open up, I wanna say like late 2019, maybe early 2020. But as we both know, that's when coronavirus hit. And so things started to get rocky around that time. Like I would get like random text messages from different numbers saying that, hey, it's goals. Um, did you put down your deposit? We don't have any of your pictures on the file. Um, we don't have, we don't see that you paid. And so it's all these different numbers, which were the girls who were working there. It wasn't like a scam or anything. It was the girls working there, but they didn't have a professional line. So they would just contact you off their personal number. To me, that was strike one. That was weird. Like you would have thought that would have made me think again, but I wanted it so bad. You know, I just really, like I said, really wanted the surgery so bad. It was a lot of miscommunication. Um, also, they kept pushing my surgery back. And it was like, I was told so many times, okay, so you're gonna get your surgery on this date. You're gonna get your surgery on that date. And like I said, I kept having different representatives call me. So I'm getting annoyed. I'm like, what the fuck? 
Why can these people get it together? It's pissing me off. Um, they come to Atlanta, goals did, and they were saying that they were gonna meet girls in person to see if they qualified. So even though I did my consultation online, I still wanted to double check and just make sure. So I met Dr. Boskin. They came to the W Hotel in like Midtown and I met him and he was feeling on my body and he told me straight up, he told me straight up, he said, you already have big butt. You have big butt, but, but hard, but, but very firm. So it's not going to be huge. That's what he told me. So I kind of went into surgery already knowing I wasn't going to get this fat, juicy ass the first round. You know, I was already expecting to probably have to do a second round, which I am okay with. Because a lot of us don't know that these girls we see online, you know, the Instagram models and stuff, they keep going back. Trust me. Um, but he did ensure me that my waist would be cinched in, that I would literally like have no waist and he would be able to fill me out and give me curves that I wanted. He said we could start from the outside and then work on projection. That's what Boskin told me. I confronted them like, well, you know what? Not only are you pushing my surgery back, but now you're changing doctors. So I'm not getting Dr. Boskin. All right, even though, by the way, I met him for my consultation. They made it seem like he was going to be the one doing my surgery. So I'm not getting Boskin. I'm not getting someone else like in New York or whatever because they kept asking me to come to New York during coronavirus. Finally, um, they, they had showed their lineup of doctors that were coming to Atlanta. And so one of the doctors, Dr. Yi, I didn't really like his work, to be honest. I just didn't like it. And um, I told him, I was like, no, I don't, I don't want Dr. Yi. You told me that it was going to be Dr. Shannon one day and now Dr. Yi, no. So she was like, well, because of the inconvenience, we're going to have to charge you $500. So as you can see, it was already a lot going on before the surgery. I ended up paying $7,500 in total. Since I'm doing this, I better get my surgery or else we're going to have a problem. Like I better get it done. And, and they assured me, they were like, okay, fine. You're going to get it done. And I ended up getting my surgery November 11th by a new doctor named Dr. Sledge. Um, they assured me before I got it done that I was gonna see his work. Never saw his work. They only had one picture of his work on the profile. And I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't bad. I didn't do my extra research, so I can't fully blame them. I just was so tired of getting it pushed back that I was like, all right, I'll, I'll do it. I'll get it done. I waited for like three hours to get my surgery. Um, three hours, I heard girls screaming because at Gold's Plastic Surgery, it is not general anesthesia, it is local, meaning that they just numb you up. This procedure should not be done under local. I just wanna go ahead and let you know that right now, it shouldn't be. There's no way you can be awake and take this pain and they can really suck you out and pump you back up. There's just no way. Um, but they had assured us before that the benefits of local anesthesia is less downtime, not a lot of pain, um, you can go back to work, um, just all this crap. So while I'm in the back, I hear girls screaming, um, and then I, they give us pills. They give you pills to take, drug you up, and then finally they walk you back there. So when I met Dr. Sledge, and this was the day of, by the way, like I said, a mistake that I made. So when I walk in, I, I show him pictures. I brought him three pictures and I will show you guys in the video as well. I show him three pictures, one of the ass I want, one of the hips, and one of the actual like figure itself. And you know what this man told me? He said, yeah, I'm not, you're not gonna get it that big. Like I don't do big butts, I do natural. And I said, I'm paying you, you gonna give me what I want. And he's like, yeah, we'll see. I swear to God, straight like that, straight like that. And I was so drugged up, y'all, I couldn't really pop off. You know what I mean? I couldn't, I couldn't really say anything. I just laid down. And um, I hope that YouTube doesn't flag me, but I really want to show you guys the video of me getting the procedure. Um, I allowed them to put me on their story. So you can see him lipoing me and all that. So hopefully I can add that in. Um, I'm going to think about it. It was definitely painful. He, the numbing was the worst part. And he was telling me to relax and calm down. And I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. Like this shit was hurting so bad. It hurt so bad. But the numbing was the, the worst part. After that, after you're numb, it, it, it only hurts in certain spots when he lipos you. I don't know how to explain it, but I wasn't screaming and I'm dramatic. So like, it didn't hurt me that bad. Actually, if I could rank worst feeling to like least, the worst was the numbing. Then it was when he was putting the fat back in my butt. That shit felt like a burning sensation. It hurt so bad. 
And then the, the light bulb was actually kind of the least painful. But you feel the whole thing. You're going to feel it all. If you go there, you're going to feel all of it. And I thought, since I'm feeling all of it, it's worth it. It's worth the pain. I get off this table, y'all. And when I tell you, I'm like, can, I, can you take a picture of my body so I can see? I'm, and I'm going to attach pictures. My waist was not cinched in. My butt did not look big. My butt looked the exact same. And at that point, when I got back up, I was so drowsy. I couldn't go off. The man left. Dr. Sletch, I never seen him ever since then. And he ended up quitting two weeks later. So I could never talk to him again. Like I'll never be able to get closure with this man who didn't do what I asked him to do ever again. I kept trying to be positive and just think to myself, well, if you follow their instructions and wear the faha and feed the fat and do all these things that they tell you to do, don't lay down on your back, don't sit on your butt, like things will get better. Um, I ended up getting a customized faha because the ones that they provide don't even cinch you in the way that you want to be cinched in. That's why most of our waists don't look different because we aren't really cinching it in. They don't have stage two fahas. I didn't dry for three whole months. I laid on my stomach, like, and I worked from home. So I was, I was a lucky one. So I was working from home. If I was working, I was laying on my stomach typing. I was on my knees eating. Like I followed every single instruction. I never laid on my back for three whole months. When I tell you my results are so mediocre, you cannot tell that I got my body done. The only thing that I see a difference in is that they gave me a little bit of hips. And my butt jiggles more. But um, I'll attach my before and after like videos and stuff. I'm not trying to deter you from going to Gold's plastic surgery, but I have to be honest with you. The customer service is horrible. Those girls don't give a damn about their job. It's just a, not an honest facility. I truly regret going to Gold's plastic surgery and I'm upset that I spent that much money. But as far as goals goes, I do not recommend them. They did not fix my body at all. The whole experience was trash and it was a waste of time and a waste of money. There's truly no difference. I mean, honestly, um, it's a learning experience, ladies, and you have to do your research. I mean, if something doesn't feel right, then you should not go through with it. There were some mistakes that I made and I have to be honest about them, but please listen to me and listen to the other girls who are trying to warn you. We're not making this shit up. A lot of us are not making this shit up. We don't see a big difference. We should. There's no reason why we're taking the pain awake. And girls are going to sleep, enjoying themselves. Just, mm, I'm going to wake up to a nice body. And it's just not fair. It's just not fair. And it is what it is. I said yes to Dr. Sledge. I said yes to paying them the extra 500. So I made that mistake. But best believe for the next round, which I will be doing a round two, um, I will keep you guys updated on the process. I will do a lot more research. And I'll be more intentional and speak with my doctor prior to getting the surgery because like I said every surgery every surgeon has a different vision for their patients so yeah I hope this video was helpful um for you guys it took a lot of balls for me to even make a video like this because I totally thought that my video was going to be like yeah I got my body done and hey, 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 like, I'm a bad bitch but it was the opposite and everything is a learning experience so just like I said, take what I'm saying and, and I don't want it to sway or persuade you or make you just hear my story and just think like, would you want to go through that? That's all I'm saying. No plastic surgery facility is going to be perfect. Everybody's had a death. Everybody's had a botch. Everybody's had legal issues. Everybody's had financial, you know, every, nothing's going to be perfect. But with goals, plastic surgery, I've heard so many girls and I'm in a Facebook group like two Facebook groups, they all are pissed. A lot of women are pissed. So I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. But please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please leave comments below. Be honest. I don't care. Be real and tell me what you're thinking about this. Um, if you've gotten plastic surgery from a good facility, please leave them below. I am gonna look into doctors soon because I'm saving up right now for the round two. So please uh, comment, um, follow me on Instagram and, uh, let's just connect and, um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to, like I said, be dropping videos every Monday. So hit the notification button and see you soon.